Hi family, nice to be with you here. Um, Going to bring us through a sweet vinyasa class with opportunity to get our heart rates up and also to develop our strong woman arms. Um, so join me. It's, it's good to be with you in this capacity today. We're going to start in Tadasana, Mountain Pose. So we keep our feet about hip width distance. If you're confused about hip width distance or what that looks like for you, bring your fists together. And when you bring them to the insides of the feet, the balls of the feet should be where your fists come together. That is your hip width. And let's pick up our toes off of the earth. Spread your toes nice and wide and feel for putting one toe down at a time, beginning with the pinky and then all the way through to your big toes. Feel those being grounded into the mat or into the floor beneath you. Now pick your heels up ever so slightly, just noticing. And as you place them back on the earth, that sensation of rooting in. Let's begin to rock side to side. Just connecting feet with earth, earth to feet. Coming back through to center here. Let's begin to take some circles with our shoulders bringing them all the way up to the ears and rolling them back, maybe closing down the eyes here. Noticing any places where you slept funky, where there's any kind of tension, what feels loose, warm, hot, cold. And let's switch directions, roll those shoulders forward. Deep breaths here, really nice, letting go through the shoulders. Let's take a big inhale, circle sweep the arms up overhead, and we'll pause here, just taking in this sensation of reaching fingertips skyward while keeping our feet rooted and grounded. Exhale, allow the arms to come back through the side. Let's do that again. Inhale, arms up. Maybe gaze goes skyward, reaching up, pulling belly in. Feel your feet being grounded and rooted as you reach up. Exhale, arms by the side one more time. Big inhale, circle sweep. Taking up your space, I'm reaching I'm rooted. And exhale, arms by the side. Coming into our full Tadasana now. So the palms of the hands are reaching forward. Fingertips are spread and actively coming towards the earth. Feel the shoulders dropping away from the ears. Crown of the head is yearning to go skyward. Feet are deeply planted. I want you to begin to become a witness of your breath here. Noticing what shifts on the inhale and what changes as you release oxygen from the lungs, from the diaphragm. See if you can find a little bit of softness here through the jaw, through the face, through the shoulders. Your legs are active and yet at ease. And this is your true north. No matter what happens in our practice, no matter what happens in our life, we can come back to this place, this 
being firmly rooted and grounded. Let's bring one hand to heart, one hand to belly. We're going to deepen through some diaphragm breathing here. So slowing down the breath and on the inhale, really filling the belly, expand, low belly fills with air. And then it comes up through the chest up into the throat and we pause there just for a moment to take that in and then we exhale reverse the process allowing the oxygen out through the mouth and throat and then all the way down through low belly breathe in big inhale allow your diaphragm your belly to expand as you receive fresh oxygen Feeling the chest, noticing the rib cage expand, pausing for a moment, and then reversing the process. Big inhale into low belly. Drink deep here, friend. Notice every physical sensation happening here as you receive the breath of life. Filling the chest, we pause just to notice the held energy. We soften there. And then exhale, letting the air out of the chest. All the way out through low belly. Two more. Big inhale. Last, deepest, most intentional. hands where they're at, just returning to your native breath here, not only connecting with our body, but going one layer deeper here into our spirit, to our soul, and just asking ourselves, what's our heart's desire today to receive a greater measure of joy, peace, patience, comfort, forgiveness, energy. Connect with that for a moment and then come back to your belly breathing. Let your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit breathe that in. Circle, sweep the arms up overhead, gaze, follow with the hands, palms to touch, exhale, pull through to heart center, and just pause here, we seal the deal, acknowledging and receiving our heart's desire today. Big inhale, circle, sweep arms overhead, exhale, let's forward fold. And we'll pause here in our forward fold, shaking our head yes, and then no, maybe finding a rag doll here, swaying side to side, gently bobbing the head up and down, allowing any stress or tension or negative residue just to fall off fall out of the mind, off of the body, making space for your heart's desire today. Mm. Releasing your hands to the mat if they're not already there. From our forward fold, Uttanasana, we'll find a halfway lift. The crown of my head reaches forward as my tailbone is reaching back. I cultivate all this length through every vertebrae, and then exhale, fold. Shh. Inhale, halfway lift. Find your length there, and exhale, fold. Two more, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Really nice, let's step the right foot back and come into a low lunge. Lots of variations here. You can keep your hands on the earth. You can raise arms overhead. Hands can come to the side. Just 
saying good day um, to our hips here, our right psoas. On your inhale, see if you can soften a tiny bit into this hip flexor area. And on the exhale, watch how your body welcomes you to go a little bit deeper there. Big inhale, full exhale, one more, big inhale, full exhale, hands come to the mat, step that right foot up, take your forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, a little bend in the knees as you circle sweep the arms all the way up overhead. We're reaching through the fingers while staying grounded through the feet. And then we're going to grab the right wrist with the left hand and draw it over to the left. Feet can stay together. You can take some space here. Attention comes to that right side body. Noticing what shifts on the inhale. What happens there as you let the air go? Release the jaw. Engage the belly. On your next inhale, come back through center and we'll switch. I'll grab my left wrist with my right hand. Gently pull her up and over to the right. Pressing that left hip towards the left while actively reaching over towards the right. How does this side feel different? Big round of breath here. On your next inhale, come back, reaching up, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Let's step that left foot back, finding your low lunge on this side. Whatever variation you took on the other side, arms up to the side, keeping the hands on the earth. Use your breath here. Your inhale will provide a little bit of space. And exhale, see if you can't lean in a little teensy bit deeper. Big inhale. Exhale, cartwheel the hands to the mat, come onto the ball of that left foot. Step the left foot up, coming into our forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Little bend of the knees. Exhale, root to rise. Circle, sweep the arms up. And join a little back bend here. So full expression, there's hands together, feet together. You can support low back on the hips here. You can find cactus arms. Engage your legs here. Lift through the chest. Come back up through center. Hinge at the hips. Flat back, forward fold. Pedal out the legs here, bob your head up and down. <clears throat> Exhale out your air. On your inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, circle sweep the arms overhead. And exhale, swan dive through. Let's step the feet back and find our first downward facing dog. Find a little movement here. Let's lift our left foot, finding a three-legged 
three-legged dog here. Take some circles with that ankle and spin it in the other direction. Extend the knee and stack left hip over the right. Ah. Notice the tendency for all the weight to dump into that right hand. See if you can't put some pressure through the left there to square the shoulders to the mat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's play around here with our balance for a minute. What if you were to be able to lift your right hand up off of the mat? One day grabbing for that left foot. Oh, not easy. Maybe today you're just playing with getting the fingertips up off the mat. It's a great challenge to the balance. <laughs> Drop the right hand. Drop the left foot. Downward facing. Right toes go up high to the sky. Take some turns with that ankle. Switch directions. Bend that right knee, pull the heel into the booty, and then stack right hip over left. Ah. Square through the shoulders here, press the chest back. Ah. Fun little balance challenge here. See about getting the left hand up off the mat. Maybe reaching back. Maybe finding your foot. Oh. oh, we just get curious and playful. We're so gracious with ourselves, just trying new things. And we'll release left hand, right foot, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Let's fire up our arms here for our woman making arms in the making here. So from, we're going to take some down dog push-ups. So I'm going to keep my hips extended. My feet are hip width distance. My hands stay right where they're at. And I'm going to try to touch my forehead to the mat. My elbows go out wide to opposite wall. Keep the hips lifted. You got this. For eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Press it up to downward facing dog. Drop the knees, sink the hips, find your breath here. Do it again. Meet me in downward dog. Hips are high. Fingers are wide. And I'm going to release my forehead down to the mat. Elbows go out wide. You got this. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Nicely done, dude. Beautiful work. From down dog, we'll come right into our Surya Namaskar A. So look up in between the hands. Bend the knees. Step the feet up to the top of the mat. Inhale, find that half lift. Exhale, fold. Root to rise. Circle sweep the arms overhead. Palms to touch. Exhale, pull through to heart center. What's your heart's desire, friend? What are you longing for an extra measure of in the midst of this madness? Breathe it in. Big inhale. Circle sweep arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, bend the knees, step the left foot back, followed by the right. Hinge forward, engage the belly, the glutes, 
exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We ain't going backwards, friends. Look up and between the hands. Soft bend the knees. Step the opposite foot up, followed by the other. Forward fold on the exhale. Inhale, gets me a half lift. Exhale, letting go. Bend in the knees as I reach for my heart's desire. Circle, sweep, little back bend if you please. Exhale, all the way through, letting go. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step the opposite foot back, followed by the other. Find your strong high plank. Hinge forward. Exhale, lower down 90 degrees. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, curl the toes. Lift the hips, downward facing. Where are you going? Say not backwards. Look up in between your hands. Bend the knees, step or float your feet on up. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Root to rise. What's your heart's desire? Exhale through. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step or hop the feet back. Chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. One more. You ain't going backwards. Get the feet up. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Root to rise. Exhale all the way through. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step or float the feet back. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing. Let's raise that right foot up high to the sky. Find that strong three legged dog. We're going to bend the knee. Plant the right foot in between the hands and find your warrior two. Nice, strong warrior here. Your feet are grounded and strong. Shoulders are nice and soft. Take a big inhale here. Exhale at Skindasana. Bend that left knee. So full expression looks something like this. Not everybody's knees. Love that. So you can prop your elbow. You can even just stay right here. So take a big inhale in Skandasana. And now let's bring it to the top, other side. We're going to come into an easy twisted. Your left hand is going to come to the inside of the foot. Right arm reaches up. Really nice. Coming into a side plank here. So lift your right foot up and send it to the back of the mat. Nice Vati Stasana side plank. We're going to switch the direction of our plank. So my right hand comes under the face, left arm comes up. Woohoo! And now let's bring it back home. Look down at your right hand and switch. There it is. Everybody lift your right foot up. Bend the knee, and then we're going to plant the right hand in the inside of the left foot, coming back to that easy twist. Big inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Here we are again. Exhale, skindasana to the back. There it is. And to the front. Hands frame that foot. Step that puppy back. Now we're going to exhale, lower down, all the way to our belly. Keep your hands right where they're at, setting up for Bhujangasana Cobra. Tops of the feet press into the mat so hard that your little kneecaps come up. Exhale out all your air, and then inhale, lift. Little to no weight in the hands. That's it, and then let it go. Inhale, lift. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, lift. Exhale, let it go. Two more. Inhale, lift. Feel your strong lumbar spine. Let it go. Last one. Little to no weight in the hands. 
press yourself up into your plank, or you could do tabletop, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Well done, warriors. Left foot goes high to the sky. Nice and slow with control, bend the knee so you can set the left foot in between the hands, find your strong warrior two. Big inhale here. Exhale, we're gonna bend that right knee for skandasana to the back. Big inhale, bring it to the front. <sighs> Setting up for easy twisting, my right hand comes to the inside of the foot, lift my left arm up. <sighs> now we'll find our side plank, so pick up the left foot and send it back. You can keep that foot raised if you like. Look down at your right hand. Now we're gonna switch our plank. You can raise that foot. Look down at the left hand. Bring it on home, friend. Vatistasana. Everybody lift that left leg. Bend the knee. See how much control you can use to find your easy twisting lunge. That's not easy. Big inhale, we're going to warrior two. Mark, set, go. Big inhale, skindasana to the back, skindasana to the top. Hands frame the foot, step that left foot back, nice control, elbows in as you lower all the way down to the belly. Flip to the tops of the feet, exhale out all your air, and the inhale, lift. There you go, let it go. Inhale, lift. Little to no weight in the hands. Let it go. Lift the chest and down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. One more. Inhale, lift. And let it go. Curl the toes under. Find your high plank. Or you can come to tabletop. Lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Yee-haw! Right toes high to the sky. We're gonna go through that one more time. Bend the knee. Find your warrior two. Skindasana to the back. You got this. And to the top. Left hand finds the mat. Easy twisting lunge. Pick your right foot up. Side plank. Maybe lift the right foot. And switcheroo, right hand comes down, left hand comes up, maybe lift the left foot. Bring it on home, friend. Drop the left hand, raise the right. Everybody lift your right leg, bend the knee, find that easy twisting lunge. And warrior two, <sighs> sound effect help. Skindasana to the back and to the top. Yes. Hands come to the earth, step that right foot back, maybe keep the right leg raised just for funsies. Exhale, lower down nice and slow. This time we'll keep our feet separate, hands separated, hands reach forward, exhale out your air, and then inhale, lift it all up. And then exhale, bring it down. Inhale, lift higher, lift the chest, lift the heels, and down. And lift. And down. One more. Lift. Higher than I've gone before. Lift the chest. Lift the heels. Really nice. Bring it all the way down. Push up position. Come back to your high plank. Downward dog. Left leg high to the sky. Bend the knee. Bring it through for your warrior two. Skindasana to the back. Bring it to the top. My right hand comes to the mat. Easy twisting. Beautiful. Lift that left foot. Find your side plank. Maybe lift the leg. Switcheroo. Left hand comes down. Right arm up. Maybe lift the leg. Bring it home. Everybody lift the left leg. Bend the knee. Find that easy twisting, AKA not so easy, warrior two. 
always moving with grace and control. Spindasana to the back. Bring it to the throat. Hands come to the mat. Step that left foot back, maybe relieve it raised. As you exhale, all the way down to the belly. Find cactus arms here. Let go of all the air. And then inhale, lift. And down. And lift. And down. And lift. And down. And lift. And down. So good. Last one. Hold here on the lift. Lift the heels. Lift the chest. Exhale. Let it all go. Press up and back. Downward facing dog. Beautiful. Left leg high to the sky. Bend the knee. Swing her on through. Hiya! Skindasana to the back. And to the front. Right hand finds the mat. Easy twisting. Pick up that left foot and send it back. And switch your route. And bring it on home. Bend that left foot. Find your easy twisting lunge. And warrior two. Skindasana to the back. And to the top. And hands to the earth. Step that left foot back. Exhale all the way down. I realize we just did that side twice, so it's cool. All you type A's at home, they're like, we just did that. I got it. We'll do the other side. Let's come back to our Bhujangasana. Zipper up the legs. Press the tops of the feet. Exhale out there. And lift. And let it go. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Feel the chest up, little to no weight. Release the shoulders from the ears. Let it go. Two more. Inhale, lift. And go. And lift. And let it go. Press yourself strong up into your plank. Hips up and back, downward facing. Nicely done. Right leg to the sky. Bend the knee, plant that foot, warrior two. Skindasana to the back. And bring her to the top. Left hand comes to the mat. Reach that puppy up for easy twisting. Pick up your right foot. Find your side plank. Uh -huh. Switcheroo, right hand comes under my face. Lift it up. Lift those hips. Maybe lift the leg. And bring it on home. Right hand comes up. Everybody lift the right leg. Bend the knee. Find your easy twisting. Hashtag not so easy. With grace and control, warrior two. Skindasana to the back. Bring it on home. Hands frame the foot. Step that puppy on back. Maybe a one-legged chaturanga all the way to the belly. Separate the feet, separate the hands. Exhale, lift, and we're gonna swim. Yeah, gentle fluttering motion with the legs and the arms. See if you can lift your chest, lift your thighs up off the mat for eight, seven, six. Swim, little warrior, five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, drop it down. Hands come by the shoulders. Lift yourself into plank. Lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Stay right there or come down to the knees. Drop the hip. Rest your forehead onto the mat. Connecting with your heartbeat here. Coming back to your heart's desire. Breathing it in. Feeling your body alive and receptive to receive and manifest your heart's desire with every cell 
of your being. y'all will come up into um, tabletop and then come all the way down to our backs. We're going to set up a little more arm work here for reverse tabletop. So my fingers are pointing towards my feet. Bring those heels in close to the hips, you know, under the knees. And then we're going to lift ourselves up into a reverse tabletop. So it's easy to kind of shrug through the shoulders here. See if you can really press the earth through the palms of the hands and then lift the hips. Heart is being pulled up towards the ceiling. Your gaze can go back, can be neutral. You can be looking up, whatever's best for your neck. And then let's heel to our feet in together and then pick up one foot and drop it and pick up the other. Oh yeah. See if you can keep your hips up high while you're doing this. If you're sagging down here, you're not going to get as much workout in your arms. So press those hips up. You got this. What's your heart's desire? Oh yeah, baby. It is worth the work for five, four, three, two, and one. Really nice. From here, we're going to come into a full reverse plank. So we're going to straighten our legs, coming up onto the heels. And then we're going to dip our hips down so it barely kisses the mat and then bring it back up. And down, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up. You got this. Breathe. See how high you can lift it up. One more. Sweet. Now we're going to do some tricep dips. So we're going to bend our elbows so they're coming behind us, keeping the elbows in. Hoorally. Woman arms for sure, baby. Trying to keep the hips up. Oh, yeah. Eight. Seven. <laughs> Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Inhale, arms overhead. Oh yeah, lift one booty cheek and then the other. And we're going to slowly bring our backs all the way down. So engage your core here. Nice and slow. Arms stay overhead. Take a few full rounds of breath here. What's your heart's desire? To dance? Oh yeah. Let's take um we did a lot of great spine stuff, and we'll, our core strength and spine strength are intricately connected. So I love to do both. Let's take some hollow body rocks here. So we'll keep our biceps glued by our ears, and we'll lift our shoulders and our legs up off of the earth. Find that nice, strong, stiff body, keeping your belly hollowed out, and let's begin to rock. Oh yeah, you got this. Breathe. Keep those biceps by the ears. Breathe. Are you breathing? Don't hold your breath for three, two, and one. Stay in this hollow body form and hold for 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up into boat 
for Vanasana here. Ooh, and then we're going to straighten one leg and come back up. And then the other and come back up. Ooh, hollow out the belly. Let your chest come through so your back stays nice and flat. Ooh, I feel it. Come on now for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hold your boat. Maybe straighten the legs here or you can drop the feet. Straighten through the back. Bring the shoulders back. Yeah, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, four. Oh my gosh, let it go. Do a sweet good morning stretch by reaching fingers and toes in the opposite direction. Bring those knees into your chest, friend. And grab for opposite elbows and wrists. And just feel the sensation of you holding yourself. You are held. You are loved. Just exactly the way you are. Let's bring our forehead up towards the knees. Just shifting the sensation here. You are perfectly imperfect. Release your head to the mat. Let your hug go, but grab for the bottom of the knees. And we're going to rock and roll. Taking as many rolls here as feels sweet on the spine. As you're ready, we'll come up into a tabletop position. Coming into melting heart, did a lot of arm stuff today. So keeping your knees right under your hips as if we're in cat cow, but we're gonna walk our hands forward. Letting our heart become heavy towards the mat. Dropping forehead, melting heart. <sighs> Tune into your native breath here. One more full breath, just round the breath here. We'll come up out of that, coming all the way down onto our tummy. We'll extend our, so we're all the way down on our bellies. Our left arm is going to come out like an airplane wing. My right hand comes right under my right shoulder. Then I'm going to bend my right knee. I'm going to press myself up onto my left side and drop that right foot behind me. Lots of variations here. You can feel for grabbing that foot behind the back. A lot going on here. You should be feeling or getting a yummy stretch through that left shoulder and also enjoying a pretty sweet spinal twist.
one more full, as best, as deep, as most intentional breath here. Release the grip if you have it with your foot. And we'll slowly roll back onto our tummies. My right arm now comes out like an airplane. Left hand comes under that left shoulder. Bend that left knee, and then we'll press ourselves up onto the right side. Mm -hmm. Finding your juicy stretch on this side. Notice if you have more or less grace over here. Not better or worse, just different. Grabbing that foot if you did so on the other side. Soften, friend. Exhale, deepen. Mm. Find your last, fullest, bestest breath here. Slowly release hand from foot if you've got that clasp. And we'll come all the way down onto our tummy. Pressing ourselves up so that hips um, sink down onto the heels. Finding little seed to just round through our spine here. Forehead is on the mat, arms are reaching long. This may feel like the sweetest, most perfect kind of rounding gently through the spine. If you want more, option is grab it and grab um, your heels. My thumbs are on the outside, fingers are on the inside. And I tuck my forehead towards my knees and lift. down, releasing the heels, we all meet in little seed, grounding here, coming back to that heart's desire. slowly, and I mean slowly, we're going to round up one vertebrae at a time. Do your best to keep your butt glued to your heels as you do this. Your head weighs a hundred pounds. So you're going to round up one vertebrae at a time. Down with the head, relaxing to arise. There you are. Take a big inhale, circle, sweep arms overhead. Exhale, palms to touch. Exhale through to heart center, receiving my heart's desire. Let's do that one more time as a family. Big inhale, circle, sweep arms overhead. Exhale through to heart center, receiving my heart's desire. release ourselves now into the posture of all postures coming into shavasana on our backs on our sides on our bellies if we please getting out any final little wiggles committing to ourselves to give ourselves these final moments to allow 
the magic, the beauty, the integration of your practice to do its best work. Everything's going to be all right. Notice if there's any residue of tension in your face, in your jaw, in your shoulders. Let it go, friend. Drink deep in this sweet surrender. Shavasana as long as your heart needs you to. If you're ready, you can roll over onto the one side and just pause here for a minute. Gently pressing yourself up into a seated position. Finding crisscross applesauce, keeping the eyes closed down. We'll take one last collective inhale, circle sweep the arms overhead, palms to touch, and exhale through to heart center. What is your heart's desire, friend? What are you hungry for a greater measure of today? May that be your intention, your focus. May you breathe it in and receive it into every cell of your being so that it may be so. Shine your light today, friend. We need it more than ever. Shine on and namaste. can't wait to see you.